How to create custom alphas and blunder for your sculpts. All you need is a pen and some paper. I'm gonna draw some random shapes. Doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm drawing alphas that would assist me in sculpting a planet. After you're done, take pictures with your flashlight turned on, and that's all there is to it. Now go into your photo editing software of choice and create a new canvas that's 1500 by 1500 pixels. Then import all your images that you took. It probably would have been better if I didn't have these lines, but whatever, it works regardless. First, I'm going to cut out only what I need. Then create a new black background. Let's see, we need to get rid of all the white stuff. Then I'm gonna create a new folder and put all my drawn images inside of it. I'm gonna select a black and white filter. In this case, because the lines are blue, I'm gonna turn up the blue color. It's kind of getting rid of the, uh, the black lines. Then I'm gonna enhance it with a curves modifier. Then add a invert and add another curves modifier. Now the good thing about this workflow is that it should work for your other images as well. If you have issues for very fine drawings, what you can do is add a curves modifier just for that layer. Bring back the details and then you'll see these edges but just remove them with an eraser with a soft edge. One more additional thing you can do, considering an alpha reads grayscale data from black to white, where white would be the highest point or the lowest point if you invert a brush, we can add some gray values because right now we don't have that. So grab a brush, Make sure the opacity is set to low and the hardness as well. And just paint on top of your sketches. And this is looking quite rough right now. But that's okay because I'm going to use the smudge tool. And I'm going to kind of blend it in. Save these images out. And I'll show you how to use them in Blender. Alright, so now we're in Blender. I'm going to go in sculpt mode and grab the draw brush and go to tool, texture, new texture and come down to the texturing tab here. Click open, select your new alphas. I'm going to select this one. Then come down to stroke and set the stroke method to anchored. Now if you click and drag, you should see the alpha that you uh, drew in 3d space now there's ways to improve this for one out turn the strength down in this case this seems like like a crater impact or something that was my point drawing this so i'm gonna hold down control to invert it i'm gonna show you ways to improve on it right so let's say you have a bunch of them maybe a very extreme one right here Let's add some of the other alphas as well, actually. Let's see what they look like. Okay, that's interesting. We had four alphas, so let's use all four of them. Ooh, I like this one. So you see with this one, because it has the gray values, it blends it way better. Like That's why it's important to also add those gray values. Like If you can draw them in, that's of course uh, preferred, but now, right now it looks like a bunch of random alphas on a sphere. But to improve on them, I'm going to make it big and then I'm just going to scrape lightly over the alphas. And you can see what that's doing. Another thing, another tip is to, I will hold down shift and then just click. See, so it does smooth it out, but it's very subtle. And then I can scrape over that again. And 
then of course feel free to uh, you know the best sculpts are done by mixing stuff you know don't feel like you only have to use alphas you know just um continue sculpting with clay strips or whatever you use And we're done. So there you go, that's the final result. If this pack looks interesting to you, you can head over to my Gumroad, link in the description below, and buy this pack for $1. But you can also just make it yourself, as I showed in the video. So yeah, that's it. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, put down a comment on what you liked, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.